Hello, welcome to Celito's Virtual Classroom. My name is Celito Rodriguez. Um, in this occasion, I'm going to uh, talk about a little program that it's very useful. It's called Password Save. Password Save is an open source application that is used to manage passwords. Um, as you may be aware, there's a lot of problems with security nowadays. Uh, th there's always been a lot of problems and um, one tiny bit problem if you want to call it uh, you know tiny bit one it's to be able to manage your password uh, efficiently well that's what password save does it's a program that allows you to it, it's it's kind of like um, uh, let's say a digital vault where you can put all your passwords and you only have to remember the password for password save um, why should you use password save? Well, first of all, because uh, the average users nowadays have more than 10 user, you know, 10 uh, uh, logon usernames and password credentials, and uh, remember all those credentials, it's very difficult. And some other people, especially professionals and people who work in the uh, IT industry and other industries, you know, have, you know, way more than just 10 usernames and passwords. But um, so the matter of the fact is that it's very difficult to manage all those passwords and password save allows you to um, you know help you with that stuff uh, there are other programs out there that you know basically do the same thing but uh, password save is uh, the one that um, I use uh, I like it and um, that's the one we're gonna be talking about in this uh, this video I'm going to show you how to download and install the uh, the program uh, how to create entries and groups and how to uh, exit password save safely alright so the first thing is just download it just go to Google and look for password save and the page is so this is the one we're talking about it's called password save that uh, sourceforge.net so go to the page and once in the page here is the download latest version link click on it and depending on what browser you use, whether it's Google Chrome or uh, Firefox or, or whatever, then you know this may look a little bit different. Uh, anyway, in my case, I'm using Internet Explorer version 11. Uh, and so if you do have this, then just basically click on the uh, Run button over here. You can save it in the computer, install it later. But uh, uh, this is a very small program, so just click on Run and just basically follow the instructions. Okay you have to agree next next install and obviously you know it, it seems to have installed very fast on this video because this is pre-recorded but uh, it won't take long you know it's, it's a small program and if you have um, you know a cable internet connection or or DSL or whatever something decent then it shouldn't take that long so click on close and here it is so once you install the program it'll create a, an icon like this on, on your desktop um, when you double click on it because this is the first time that we have run the program um, we need to create the database that, that you know will store all our passwords so you don't have a database yet uh, yet so that's why this is blank so just click on new and um, this is a very important step you, you, you gotta make sure that you store this file in a very secure location and not only that but also a, a location that can be replicated you can have in you know you, you need to have either a backup uh, of this file or you need to store this file on one of those you know cloud free web uh, you know storage services like Dropbox or SkyDrive, Google Drive whatever but just make sure that you protect this file because if you have this file, if you lose this file, then you won't be able to access your password. So it's important that you do that. Um, I have other videos that talked about how to create Dropbox and, and a SkyDrive and Google Drive and all that stuff. So take a look at my other videos if you need to. Anyway, so just give it a name. Uh, in my case, I'm for this video, I'm just calling this, you know, my passwords. And this is the type of, you know, file that it's going to create. Click on Save. And 
this is basically the only password that you will need to remember if you start using this uh, this program. Uh, make sure that you know it's it's something a little bit difficult to uh, to break. Um, you know, according to the standards for security, a um, a, a secure password should have at least eight characters. Uh, you should have a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols, and at least one of those characters should be in uppercase. That's what's considered, you know, um, uh, a, a secure password. But to be honest with you, with all the stuff that's going on, nothing seems to to stop this, you know, cyber criminal. So um, I, at least you can mitigate those uh, threats by having a strong password. But just keep in mind that. Um, in the era of the internet, nothing is absolutely secure. The only way you can be secure if you disconnect completely from everything internet, and and that's almost uh, impossible <laughs> to live uh, without nowadays. Anyway, just click OK, and uh, so here is the um, the console. It's blank. We don't have anything. Uh, here you click on on this icon to create an entry. You could also go to File, click on you know new entry and um, here you put um, you can have different groups like maybe personal or work related or you can have one all for emails and you know that kind of stuff so in this case I'm gonna create one group called personal um, I, this is gonna be for a bank account so I'm just gonna call a bank account here you put your username it could be either an email address or whatever username you use for that service and you know in in the password that you use for that service you put it right there uh if you optional uh, information you can put the uh website and the email address if it's different than the username that kind of stuff you also have uh, uh, a notes field over here that you can populate with useful information just click on okay and uh she's going to ask you if you want to use that uh, username over there as the default one and you know because you're going to have a lot of usernames and stuff like that my recommendation is do not do that so just say you know don't ask me again click on this checkbox and just click on now and there you go so here it's my personal group and inside that group there is an entry uh let's add another entry just click on that again and um this is going to be just for a facebook account right now and just you know whatever your username is and and one thing you can do over here is that you can actually generate passwords so you don't need to if you don't have a password if you create a new service and you want to generate one you can do that uh, for whatever you know thing is that you're doing but anyway so uh, this is a very difficult password it will be almost impossible to break um, you know but uh, the problem with a password like this is that because it is so difficult to remember people tend to write it down a piece of paper and put it either next to the computer or underneath the keyboard and then it defeats the purpose I mean it, it you know it is very dumb to have a password and you know write it down a piece of paper and put it next to your computer but uh, anyway uh, a lot of people still do that and um, uh, if you learn how to use this program you won't have to make that uh, common mistake anymore uh, so you can generate a password if, you, if there's somebody behind you and you're afraid that they're going to see the password. You can click on hide so they don't see it. And uh, again, here's the information you can put over there. Click on OK. And there you go. So now you have to enter. You can have multiple groups and entries and stuff like that. And as I said, this will become your, your digital vault for your passwords and stuff like that. If I click on file here, um, then it'll bring me to this menu. And there's a number of things that I can do uh, with this. This is a you know basically a basic video about password, so you don't need actually that much. Uh, what it, if you learn whatever I'm explaining here, then that'll be enough just to save your password. Uh, but to exit properly, just click on exit right here. If you just click on exit over here, the, the program will it will close the window, but the program will still be resident in memory. So if you click on exit, then basically you exit out. Um, if you need, once you open the programs again, then your uh, this is your database. This is one that we just created. So from now on, you just make sure that you point to that database, and then you put the password that you use for this um, database. Make sure you do not forget this password because if you do you're gonna be in trouble because you're gonna lose all your passwords so make sure that you remember this password and, and please 
do not copy this password and put it on a piece of paper underneath your keyboard <laughs> because then again it defeats the purpose of what you're doing this so anyway click OK and uh, here we go so you can right click on this and create another entry you can create a group you can rename it delete whatever there's a number of things that you can do uh, with these things uh, another thing you can do is if you look at the uh, this little icon over here if you're using Windows 7 uh, if you're using Windows 8 you know uh, you're gonna have to go to the desktop and take a look at this but anyway so if you click on this this is the uh, icon for uh, password save and red basically means that the program is still open in memory uh, if you right click on it um, then um, there's a number of things you can do if it's red that means that it's open you need to unlock it you can click on unlock uh, again if you want to open it again you can click on restore you can click on close and, and all that kinds of stuff and you can also exit from here and uh, basically that's it so gracias thanks Maxi, grazie, thank um, you know, I'm going to be posting all these videos at, um, you know, techymango.com. So, uh, if you think this was useful, come back and maybe you can learn something. Thank you. Bye-bye.